Right, hello everybody. And uh, today I've got, um, I think I've got a unique situation, which is not that unique. And well, I'll, I'll explain what I mean. Um, we're getting a lot of people saying, hey, when I um, go on, when I actually start a game like The Last of Us, I get it bombing out. <laughs> I.e. it'll get to the main page and it'll beep off. And I think I've got the problem with this one. Which is actually quite great because I picked this up for practically nothing, and I've given it a, I've given it a clean out, and it really needed a clean out. And I literally thought that was probably what the issue was. It did boot up, it did do everything normally. This needs a refer, but it does play PS2 games. It just doesn't play PS3 games. Um, it plays PS1 and 2, but not 3 at the moment. So it might need a laser clean. It could be the lasers on its way out. But either way, we can sort that out. Um, I then ran The Last of Us. It's probably not used to running a PS3 game because this drive just can't do it um, and it wasn't modded. So we put custom firmware on here. Now, when I did this last time, and then I've been out because I had to nip out, um, it just beeped off basically. It got to the main page for a little bit and then beeped off. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, temperatures were fine. And I normally find with um, a GPU that's going on its way out, it does get hot. I um, don't think that's the case here, so this could just be tokens. Now, I did get my Syscon um, aid, as we call it. It's not a reader at all, it's this thing. I uh, got it through eBay. Let me just show you. Got lots of motherboards to try it on. I don't want to try it on. A board I know is currently working. Um, I won't take it out of the plastic, but that's basically what I've got. It does have a jumper switch. I better make sure that's on the three volt. Because I've just seen somebody looks like they've blown their cisco on by putting it on five volt. I'll make sure I do all of that. And uh, yeah, I've got quite a few motherboards I can have a good practice on. I do. I do want to do it through Python as well. Um, and I do want the ability to um, make the relevant changes should I need to do so. So yeah, we did get this far. Um, I think I just tried to start it. And I think it did get all the way to the point of the, F of the video where, they're, where she's going to present her dad with a watch for her birthday. So I think, I think it did get that far, and then it beeped off. Mind you, it had been through a reasonable amount of stress with updating and stuff, so... But yeah, I'd like to see if we can get the error. So the error's there, it's done it. So I'm just now trying to recreate that so we can see it. Um, the reason is, is that I believe that the tagging on of the tokens will sort this out. Um, unless it's got a failing GPU and then the tagging of the tokens will just blow the whole system out. <laughs> Which means it will need a new RSX. But yeah, we'll have a look. Just the cleaning out of this console was a job and a half. Okay. It's actually got further than it did before. This, this CPU was overheating before. Ah, there you go. It's done it. I think we can see that. Beep, 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 and just beeps off. Um, I don't think there's any yellow light at all. It's just a flashing red light. And um, we'll start up no problem at all. So now... <laughs> And we get this message, yes. So I am going to check another game to see if it does it.
because if it does it on another game as well then we know any intensive game it did run PlayStation 2 games successfully mind you I haven't tested that for any sort of long period of time And as you can see, there's no warning to it. Temps are fine. It just gets to an intensive part. That, to me, screams tokens. Um, but we could be wrong. And we'll know it once we put on the Dantaniums. Um, so let me just get into Multi-Man. I'm going to see if it does God of War as well. This is a really intensive homepage. So yeah, look, I'll pause this and I'll see you in a moment. And we've got God of War. Here we are. Running God of War 3. This is another big test for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love it if the console just worked through my stress tests. And, but it doesn't. It does give me the opportunity now to try and work a few things out. So I am going to be looking forward to looking at Syscon. Um, got plenty of motherboards to try it out on. Um, and I've got plenty of power supplies and whatever to power it up. I'll obviously use paper on the motherboard so we don't short out the board. Um, so yeah, I look forward to doing that. But I'm not going to do it on one that's actually working, or mostly working, until I'm 100% confident in doing the syscons. As we are seeing on PSX plays, people just making silly mistakes. And I am one of those noobs, I'm afraid, that could easily make a silly mistake. And I'm very happy that I've actually got um, consoles I can test it out on. And you never know, possibly revive. I do know I've got three or four emotion chip ones as well. So let's also get the um, temps up. So this is just video, but we have to sit through it. But I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody on PSX play say, hey, this is happening to me. And I'm pretty sure it's CPU tokens, but I don't know 100% that's the case. So we are going to find out very much so. This CPU was stressed. I know it was stressed because it. If I had it on 35% fan speed and it overheated over, I mean it was on for about half an hour but it overheated. In other words, it, I had it on manual fan speed, 35% was not enough. On 35% fan speed this reached the dizzy temperatures of 82, 83 degrees, which then causes the unit to flash up the message your system is overheating, etc, etc. That alerted me to then go into Redman and increase the fan, I wasn't expecting it. Mind you, everything, even the fan sounded muffled because of the amount of dust and soot and everything I've pulled out of this. Um, so it's no surprise the drive needs a refurb as well. Because it very slowly put, takes discs in and out, but it won't load a PS3 game. So the guy that basically sold it to me had no idea about PS3 games because it didn't work. He did say it was fully working. <laughs> But he's probably only ever used it for PS2 games. So, and I can't complain because I've got it for next to nothing. Um, so we are going to see the RSX now climb. So we're going to go onto the resourceful homepage. Let's see if it can handle this.
And interestingly enough, The Last of Us utilises CPU. In fact, the last several games Naughty Dog did with Uncharted, it really did unlock the um, CPU potential of this console, which sets it apart so much so from other consoles like the Xbox 360 at the time. Um, the cell processor on this just... So, in, it's interesting that The Last of Us is one of those games that pushes the cell. And relies on it more so than other games. Which is why I'm not getting a shutdown here. Let's see if I get a shutdown when I go into gameplay. Whilst I'm testing this, I'm just sorting out my workbench. A world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. Now, on this day, that power is to be tested for mortal traitors. Seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers. Hmm, we're not getting a shutdown through this, but then again, it could be the cell processor. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plane. For Edward will prevail. Right. I mean, it's not shutting down. 
but it did on The Last of Us. Which basically means it will probably play most games except The Last of Us. And again, I've had lots of reports of fat consoles, backwards compatible, shutting down on this game, on, on The Last of Us. And yeah, I do believe it's the cell processor. We know that Naughty Dog really did unleash the power of the cell through their games with The Last of Us being the one that really, really did rely heavily on cell processor. And that, I believe, has worked the tokens to a point that they're just below the capacitance they need to be to, to be pushed, basically. Okay. I mean, let's get to the big boss. Let's see if that triggers a shutdown. I don't think it is going to, actually. I think it is just The Last of Us and maybe some other games by Naughty Dog that really do draw on the cell processor. I mean, I bet after maybe an hour or two, I might get a shutdown out of this. Because, you know, over a period of time, the cell process is going to be worked. And after continued working, if it hasn't got the capacitance it needs on the CPU, then the tokens, then yeah. But yeah, we definitely got a shutdown on The Last of Us. It's not happening here, but... There's no reason why it wouldn't happen over a, a longer period of time. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We're not getting another shutdown. I mean, it, it could probably play nearly every other game now. But the fact it doesn't play The Last of Us means that there is something wrong with it. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to cool this down. You can put it on 60% fan speed for about 30 seconds. So yeah, so basically I'm going to give this a pause and we're going to see, you're going to see me next when we're down to the motherboard tagging on some tokens. Hopefully that doesn't blow the system out because I have had one blowout out of four. But I do know that that was probably due to a, a, a dodgy reflow and a revived RSX. So yeah, um, that's not really the case here, this has never been opened before. Um, however, if it does have a failing GPU, then it will knock it out as far as I'm... That's my theory anyway. But uh, hopefully not. See you when we're down to the motherboard. Right, so we're down to the motherboard. I've <laughs> scraped away here. You can see a blob of solder. Here there's a little blob, and there's a little blob there. So. Yes, let's um, do the part that <laughs> I laugh because it's just not easy. Anyway, It's a little bit raised, but we'll check it. A blob of solder underneath there, I just can't. It's been a bit too much. Let's 
tight as it comes. Zeros, hmm, not a good sign. So normally I don't get zeros. We got a zero on this one as well, and that's not even got a token on there yet. All I've done is add a bit of solder, so maybe just adding a bit of heat can do that to it. I don't know. I'm not happy about it, but we'll see how this goes. I'm not really getting any good news. So I'm not happy. So I'm going to take this one off. Um, I also need to make sure that it is literally... Yeah, it's not touching the other rail. Nor is that, but...
I'm just hoping I've covered it. It's so, so not easy. <laughs> But now I've taken it off, let's get the readings again. <clears throat> See if I get a reading. Nope, still zeros. Unless there's something wrong with my multimeter. It's now not moving off OL at all, which means there's a short. zeros but it's not oh well so I start to get a reading and it just drops off okay hmm getting a contact no nah. so we don't have enough solder on there hmm Yeah, I can safely say when you hit a problem when tagging on, it, it, it may well have just been as easy. Yeah, that like zeros. And it is when you add heat as well. It's a bit of solder. I don't think I've been able to bridge anything. It doesn't look like I have. 
but yeah. Before I put this on, this was on zero there, but they could all be connected in some way, I guess. The bit of solder that was there is no longer. Yep, I've got some solder in there now. <laughs> confident about this now. And there's nothing like losing confidence <clears throat> when you're doing work like this. You've got to be confident. at the top. We've lost the solder.
<laughs> yeah, I'm having fun. I need to get myself some new solder tips, definitely. Believe it or not, I think that's on. <sighs> but will it now show me zeros? Just like the rest, I mean. It's on, but do I now have zero zeros? I mean, I have had a console boot up with tantaniums on with zero zeros, so I'm always not lost, but I'm not happy about it. Do you know what? I think there's something wrong with my multimeter. Okay. Let's just make sure we've got connection, shall we? So we do have continuity. Will be it. Zero there. <laughs> oh, I might want to put this. Um, I don't know, I've got one point three there now. One point three, which now means one point three. Now I'm getting readings off that, 0.8. I'm a bit happier now. Yep. Okay, well, I've got readings. And I've got continuity. But do I have a console that's going to boot? Just cleaning up the little micro blob of flux that I was using. Just eyeballing it to make sure it is not touching the other rail, but the continuity tells me it didn't anyway. 
No guarantees though, because I've had this on another console. And uh, yeah, God, time is flying. I've just looked, I've been recording for 40 minutes. I think we're going to get edited head highlights of this. I'm going to have to learn to use an editor. Um, Let me just pause this while I get all my ducks in a row and I'll be back in a moment. Right, so what I've done um, is I've put some heat proof tape over the work. So let's remind ourselves this console um, basically was shutting down, but only on The Last of Us. I tried God of War 3, it was happy. So yeah. That's made me, that kind of, it's a bit weird. It makes me a bit more nervous because you know that there's a there's life in this console. It just isn't 100%. Now, because I sell the consoles, they must be 100%. But there's a good chance <laughs> I could have sold the console and the person would never have played The Last of Us. And um, this would have been fine. But... It's not just about that. It's about experimental work. I am nervous now because I've had one failure out of four. So had I had 100%, I'd be wh whizzing through it, expecting it to boot. But when you get a failure, you know it's possible to get a failure. I really didn't think it was tagging on um, tokens. How on earth can you possibly get a failure? You're just tagging on to what you've already got, but you can. And... Um, the only rational explanation I can come up with for that is that it was a suspected RSX um, recovery. So back in the day when all we knew what to do was to heat up the chips and get it going again. That's what happened with that console. Um, it worked absolutely fine. I put liquid metal on it. I've done everything. The moment I did this, failed. I took the tokens off. Still a fail. We've got somebody on... PSX Place now saying that um, he did get a boot, and I've had that as well with a suspected RSX recovery. Uh, added more tokens or uh, got a fail. So, yeah, I mean, it's not great odds 10%. You've only got a 10% chance of this being token failure but on this case we don't have a failure on boot but we do get a, we do get a failure when trying to run a resourceful game like the last of us however it was, mind you i could have played on for maybe god of war it might have failed maybe half hour to an hour into the game i, I haven't done extensive testing um simply because i'm going on what i've seen in the past and what I've seen in the past is that when you get a fail like that, that's the that's the fix, what I've just done there. But we shall see the, the apprehension of it all. <clears throat> and people even using the Syscon, I will be using Syscon um, on, my, on the boards that I've actually got. Uh, for, te for test to see what's wrong with them probably rsx value in most of those cases um and yeah they're following they're following what they need to do on syscon and this and they, they're getting all these problems as well so problems are not going away um it's telling us what we kind of knew right at the beginning before the whole token hysteria thing happened which was it's probably RSX failure. That hasn't changed. Um, yeah, still that's the case. Even and Syscon is now. We're just getting. We rather than saying it might be RSX failure, we now know it is RSX failure. Um, so those people doing reballs were basically reviving the RSX with the heat of the reball and then recovering the console. 
but not it wasn't being recovered through the heat of the re through the rebore itself it was being recovered through the heat of the rebore and it's the same with these tokens you can that's why i like to tag on now because you have to you have to give these tokens a fair amount of heat to actually um get them off that heat can transfer to the rsx i've already said it in another post on on psx place and that can basically recover your console and yeah it's not the case and you think oh i've changed the tokens it's now working but actually you've changed a good token the heat of removing the token has revived your console uh, it's going to fail in a couple of months time again But it's all a learning process. This particular console is probably one of the worst I've had in terms of dust. Um, so it's no surprise to me that there is an issue with it, even though it's not a major issue. You can hear the regret in my voice that I've done this now, because <laughs> if it doesn't boot, I'll be like, there was a console here. Perfectly for capable of playing PS2 games. Uh, even ran God of War 3. Just wouldn't wouldn't do anything on The Last of Us. You just can't get past the room. So you've got no gameplay for no gameplay potential on The Last of Us. But most of these buy the most of these people buy these for the PS2 playback. Uh, the regret. Well, I've done it now. Um, what I'm going to have to tell myself if this doesn't work is basically it really didn't cost me anything. So... We're very near the point of turning this on. Even my heart's starting to race a bit. I'm like, is this going to actually work? voice I'm not confident So 15 minutes recording, do we have a boot? Yes. Has it fixed the problem? <laughs> wow, okay. So again, I knew the other one that failed now. I'm so confident it's just, it was because of the RSX. And 
I am now pretty sure if you've got a recovered RSX or a failing RSX and you do that, you blow it out, you blow out the you blow out the chip. The only I believe that it could be a fuse. I'm gonna to have to check the other balls for fuses now. Uh, maybe it does blow a fuse. I don't know. But something's not right with the continuity of everything once you have a recovered RSX through heat and then adding tantaniums. And I've done that through removing the whole token. That's exactly happened and I came to that conclusion. Um, so yeah. So let's remember this. I could not get past um, the room. So the last of us would boot. And I couldn't get past the room. The moment I get to that room, I pick up the phone and talk to Tommy. That's it. Game over. So let's see if my theory is correct. I've added on the capacitors, two onto the CPU on the top side. So let's see what this is, if this has done anything. <laughs> 